Welcome back, everyone. I'm Brian, you records the Notes Nation. You have invited, been invited into my living room uh, to have a seat. We're going to sit down and we're going to revisit some Fosia. And um, this is the song, You Don't Even Know Me. It's the official music video. Uh, I have yet to get down to the stripped versions, as I think those are called. Uh, but a lot of people are saying you really got to listen to those. But this one, I wanted to give it a shot because this one's got 29 million views. So it's like, man, this is pretty popular stuff. Uh, and this will be the third, maybe fourth video I've watched of hers and reacted to. So, uh, I don't know. Check the check the reaction playlist. I don't have it off the top of my head. Once I load, upload this, I'll know. But uh, anyways, yeah, cool. Well, are you guys ready? I'm ready. <laughs> To a crowded room, everybody staring. What did I? What did I do wrong? Oh, what wow. did I? What did I do? Oh, you see what you want to see, but you don't even know me. What did I? What did I do now? What did I? What did I do now? Said she said over it. You're acting like you're really. got a really beautiful voice and I love how she uses it and the way she puts her vibrato in there and sometimes she's singing more of those eastern type scales where there's more quarter notes than just half notes and, and whole notes. Uh, it adds a distinctive flair uh, and distinctive, I should say, flavor to the overall composition melodically that, that she sings. And it's such a strong voice but uh, uh, it's it's strong, it's controlled, it's clear, and it just comes across as being calm and, and relaxing as well. Uh, the lyrical content, this to me seemed like this was sort of re some sort of response um, to some external criticism, uh, whatever that may be, whether it just be, you know, from a personal point of view about who she is or, or if it's... Uh, you know, like within a relationship type type situation, or whether it be uh, uh, from from critics and fans about who she is as a person or a performer, whatever the case may be, it just seemed like it was some sort of response to criticism. 
Uh, musically, again, it's not my kind of music, but it was it was good. It was decent. It actually kind of reminded me a little bit of Aina Abdul from Malaysia. Um, it's got a nice sound. It's got a nice overall quality, good production. Um, and and the singing is is from the heart, and that's what's most important. You you get this sense of of a genuine nature um, in in how she performs, what she says, and how she delivers it. Uh, so definitely a, a, a an accomplished vocalist, you know, uh, for sure. Uh, and uh, there's not much more I can say. I mean, there's not a lot of there's no instruments or anything guitars. You know that I can kind of talk about, but uh, you know, song structure was pretty straightforward, and it that's kind of how it is in 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 pop music. Uh, it, it's not really um, complex in that sense, but you know, whatever. So very cool, very good. Um, I I have no problems listening to to more of her music, even though it's not my style of preferred style of listening. It's it's certainly a road that I. Because I've read your comments, and and a lot of you are saying, just wait, you know, there's there's more, there's so much more here, and and I kind of, I'm curious, you know. So, well, I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, you see the new shirt with the original chords and notes logo, and then the alternate logo cap, Joshua One Nine. There's more merch on my merch store, and there are ways to support the channel. Check that out below in the description box. But please like, subscribe, and share. That will grow the channel. That will get her more exposure. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I will talk to you later.